thing I forgot to mention was this really nice amp I happened to pick up from a buddy for free. But uh, I'm gonna try and hook it up. I'm gonna buy like a wiring kit and everything and get it all set up and then do the I have a set I have I have this big old sub here and it's for like a house TV but I'm thinking maybe wire it and put it in the trunk or buy another one for the car. But uh, it's a uh, 640 watt which is good. Space boost, um, Jerome, stable, yeah, but, I mean, it's a decent looking amp, and all I gotta do is just figure out how to wire it up, and maybe I'll put that in eventually, that's another thing to add, so. Well, if you've been keeping up with my last video, uh, I said I was gonna get a new pipe like this strapped, but, Unfortunately, I think it's just going to take uh, too long to get that stuff done. But, uh, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just going to use this one more plus what I've got. So I just grind it off down here and grind off this flange and put one of those new ones on. With just a simple MIG weld, hopefully. And then, uh, I know some pipe was lost when I cut off the, the old flange because it was really hard for me to get under the car and cut off the proper size I needed. So I might might eventually have to weld like some sort of extension in or something. And I'm gonna have to rig up how to how to hang the new exhaust because I kind of cut off the bracket, the uh, little rubber hooks that I needed because they were just being really fussy to get through. So I just took a some cutters and just cut straight through them but uh maybe i can rig up something so it works but uh yeah i'm in the meantime i'm just gonna cut this off and use what to, what i can from it so right, i got my grinder already and everything but one other tip i find when you're doing this is uh Take a wire brush and scrape away any of that rust and just the build up of salt and dirt or whatever. If you, I mean, if you even have salt from where you all come from, but this is Canada, so uh, <laughs> we gotta worry about things like our cars rotting out on on the dirty winter roads and stuff like that. But um, and then once you get your uh, piece all scraped off with your brush, just take like a sharpie and just i just find drawing a line to kind of help me see where i'm cutting because like i'm gonna be losing her eighth inch thick disc and uh um but it's i'm gonna be losing that much metal right so you gotta factor that into uh how are you gonna need that little bit of metal for the pipe to make it all the way to the end right of the exhaust so all right i'll start grinding now so i got the pipe all cut off pretty nice I to just sand it down a little there. And then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is grind off that other pipe under here. That's a little crooked there. I'm just gonna make a nice straight cut so it's easier to weld on too. Old flange cut off. So now I got this piece of curved piping that I desperately needed and there's some metal in it, yeah. But uh, now that's all that's left to do is grind off that pipe under the car and then hopefully we can get started on welding it. Okay, so I end up using that pipe wrench there to cut off that and give it a nice flush cut. And I did it with the other that other curved piece that I cut off of the end of the muffler there. So and it it uh, it worked too nicely. It, went, it was hard. I just couldn't go full three sixty around that um, pipe because there wasn't enough clearance with the gas tank and everything up there. The some wheel assembly was in the way and just the frame and everything. But uh, I managed to get through most of it, and then I kind of just started like wiggling it slowly, and I had to bend this pipe really far down. But uh, eventually it gave, so. And then I don't know where I put the, where'd the piece? Yeah, I don't know where the piece went. It's probably over here. Just to take a look. Uh, I have no idea. There is my uh, cutoff there. So that is the 
the nice new cut, and that was my really crappy cut I did with the angle grinder, so it's kind of hard to get under there, and I just wanted to get her off so I could start working on it. But, uh, yeah, you can see the difference, I guess. It, now it'll be easier to weld, too, and I won't have to worry about welding to that. Just to try and get rid of the old uh, bolts for the um, the license plate, and the, cause the thread's just completely gone on them, and, or the brackets on the back. And I found, oh, where'd it go? Wait. Mm. Okay, well, there's a beehive somewhere in here. Uh, there. Right there, and there's a bunch of vine in here, too. So I'm just discovering new things. There were some uh, bolts in there with nuts that had been seized and kind of stripped. So I just grinded the tops of them off, and I kind of melted the metal there a little. Just a little. And then I thought... Well, let's take this stupid bracket off for the license plate because I can just use the holes here with the other bolts I have. But I go to take this off, and that bra that bolt is not a seize too. So I thought, okay, let's try and melt it with a soldering iron. But I kind of burnt myself there. I don't know if you can see a there's a line or yeah, I burnt my finger and it hurts. But I. Uh, don't grab a soldering iron there, lesson learned. Especially not on the metal part. But, uh, and it's still plugged in heating up, so I sh probably shouldn't do that, but... But the bumper's off, it's starting to look clean. I might paint the, uh, cylinder, uh, cover eventually, too, just cause it's... Just cause it's flaking a lot, like, you can literally, I can literally pick paint off of it, but I'm not going to. Never mind, I am going to. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, so to kind of conclude what I've done, I couldn't get license plate back into these original holes here because it's just being a real pain in the butt to get in there and I completely nicked this one with a grinder. Well, nice job, me. So, I improvised and used that annoying stupid bracket I couldn't get off and I put the license plate on there and it's kind of just free dangling now and I found some nuts and bolts that fit, but for now that'll work. And then I... The other day, I just put my summer tires on, which I was supposed to get new ones because I don't know if I mentioned already in another video. These, they're way too big. They rub on the, they scrape on the wheel wells and the fenders, and they're not a set. The tires are all the, uh, actually, that one's a Michelin. That one's a, a Potenza. There's another Michelin back there, so two of them are the same. And then I think one of them's a Bridgestone or something, but. Uh, they're not a part of a set, so uh, they came on the car, and then I bought the snows over there, which were on it before, and those were the those were off of a Acura EL, I think, and they fit perfectly great. So, uh, um, those are my snow tires for now. And then I was hoping to get some newer tires, but of course, what did I do with my money? I put it all towards new tools at Princess Auto. So, there we go. We got a torque wrench now. Uh, some other random stuff. Uh, um, breaker bar, bunch of zip ties, because everybody loves zip ties. I got, um, these nice brackets that'll help hold up the muffler, which I actually have one on right there, and right now, and I'll show you a sec. And then I got, you know, some, some good old trusty WD-40, works for just about everything, I find. Just loosens everything up. You know, basic stuff, latex gloves, anything, just random stuff. Um, I think that's... Oh, and new wiper blades, that's another thing. Because uh, it looked like, on this one, one before, the old wiper blade, looked like it had a spaghetti noodle dangling off of it. That's how destroyed it was, because the, the actual wiper part was just coming off. Um, yeah, but another thing about these rims is they are for sale. I'll put a link for them in the... Uh, Kijiji, if anybody's interested, um, I think I have them for 180 bucks right now. Uh, yeah, they're on right now temporarily until I get other ones. If I don't get other ones before these can sell, I will just put the snows back on for part of the warm season. And then, you know, until I get my other ones, uh, my other new tires and rims, I will um, have the snows on over there, which are nicely stacked up. Um, but I'll show you what I did with the exhaust to temporarily hold it up so I can drive a little now. So it's not just dragging around. So we got my new bracket on there and four zip ties 
holding it on because zip ties always do the trick and it's perfectly nice and sturdy nice and tight i just cut off some of the ends and it's holding together temporarily i'll rig something up maybe just a simple tack or something tack weld somewhere and then i will get my uh, new piece of piping and my new muffler all on because uh, soon I'll be able to drive on my own with my new license about a month or so I have to drive with someone with a license right now and then I can be out and I want to be able to drive it with my exhaust because right now I'm kind of just driving it without a muffler which isn't the safest move but you know just keep it at low rows when you go past the cops right that's how that's how you do it and uh, I think that that kind of wraps everything up but yeah, again, the rims are for sale. Also, another thing I have for sale is um, my that red quad I showed in. Uh, I think I might have put a video of it running maybe in a couple a couple weeks back. My, but it's a. I'll I'll uh, link that too if you, if anyone's interested. It's I prefer I'm looking to trade for something kind of cool. You know, not really. Not really toys, because I don't really have space for toys, because that's the whole reason I'm getting rid of it, is because I don't have a place to put the quads. So, although, if you offer me a really good deal on a cool sled or boat or something or another, I might just be interested, and I might take it. Who knows? I'm not looking to get money for it, but uh, if that's the case, I, I might be able to, if you make me a good offer, I will inquire. And one last thing, um, that tip there off the old muffler, I'm going to put it on the new muffler, I think, with the cherry bomb, just so I can get a bit more uh, distance going on it. Because I'm starting to realize now with all the cutting and grinding I've been doing, I, I lost a decent amount of piping, and I don't know how, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stretch it all the way to the back, if you know what I mean, like all the way to the back of the car. Like, I don't know if it's going to cover that much distance, what I have. Um, I'm going to take some measurements, uh, hopefully get some new flanges welded up, because those other ones I had from a couple of videos back were, uh, I don't know if I showed them, but they were just sample flanges, um, and I'm going to have to rig up how to get a gasket in there too, because it's not, uh, I don't want it to leak or anything. Alright, that uh, wraps this one up, until next time.